Having completed the course, I think it did give me that clarity, it gave me that better understanding of our business. I think the confidence and the reassurance that actually we are on the right track and we are doing the right things. The real benefit of some of that leadership training and that networking is also the confidence it gives you to ask those questions that you thought, oh I dare not ask. Training for our business is really important. You know, we rely on people. We are a people business, we're not a farming business anymore. If we don't have training in this business, we don't move forward. And the only one important consideration is changes ahead of us. We've got to be dynamic, we've got to respond to that change. We're not going to do it without training. And that's at all levels, and that involves all staff. I think the value the leadership training gave me is indirectly beneficial to all our staff. We approach things differently. Um, it taught me to listen more, to reflect more. It taught me to have confidence and actually go with some of the ideas that we're doing. It's that ability to sort of take your business further. So it definitely has had an impact. So my programme for myself was my MBA. And then I did a Nuffield Farming Scholarship. I did the Institute of Agricultural Management Leadership Programme and then I moved on to the Windsor Leadership Trust and that programme there was invaluable because it was all these different people from different sectors with different issues that had nothing to do with farming whatsoever but talking about the same things because we're all running businesses in some form or another. I used the experience that I've learnt from them in that programme to actually help me in running this business. Mentors are really important in professional life, so the experience I glean from those others combined with my experience within this business, I'm able to pass on to other people and I'm only too happy to do it because I realise how important mentors are to an individual in developing their leadership skills or their management capacity in our industry. That once you start to build a team and things, you have to try and d develop yourself to develop them. Now that's actually quite difficult because throughout my career so far, I've had to almost keep reinventing myself as I go along to, 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 to grow with the business. Otherwise, what will happen is I'll get to a stage I can't take it any further forward because I'm not trained to take it any further forward or think any differently. It gave me the opportunity to, to recognise how uh, amazing the people um, who were working for me were. Gave me the opportunity to, to empower them to actually take responsibility for what they're doing rather than it's sort of me stood over them all day long. I need to empower them to be taking ownership of whatever task it is they're doing and to be, to, to be managing within the capacity that they can. I've been promoted mid through my Nuffield, so I'm now in a leadership role within the organisation. A lot of it is trying to have the have the time to just stand back and reflect and give yourself a bit of bit of headspace. And if and, and I think also something that I've learned is to give things a go. And if something goes wrong, then actually learn from it rather than that expectation everything has to be perfect every time. So that's been a big learning thing actually from me, and that stems from the challenge of rural leadership. I think that has helped me, um, you know, again in applying some leadership skills, it's sort of being able to apply them but not be afraid to make mistakes if, if, if something does go wrong, not worry about it or learn from it. <laughs>